second year students. Today's practical is about perimetry, which is mapping of visual fields. It will be explained by Dr. Noura, Dr. Usman, and our subject is Abdullah Saab. So the instrument in front of you is called as the perimeter. Along with the perimeter, you need the perimetry chart on which you are going to map and plot the visual fields. And you need also testing objects of different colors. You do the whole practical with white and then you repeat the practical with other colors as well. So if we come back to the perimetry or the perimeter, so the perimeter has an arch, a metallic arch. This metallic arch is graded at the back from 0 to 90 on both sides. And these grading at the back, they correspond to the isopters which are, which are present to the circles which are present on the perimetry chart. So you have nine circles, we call them as isopters. So these nine circles, they represent the grading which is present on the arc of the perimeter. At the back of the arch, there is also a scale which is graded and it, it uh, it has 15 degrees intervals between uh, each scale and the other, each mark and the other. So this enables moving the arch. You can see that the arch can move. And as the arc is moving, you move it for 15 degrees. You can see the scale is also moving. So these intervals of 15 degrees, they correspond to these vertical lines, we call them as the meridians that are present on the perimetry chart. So remember that the scale which is engraved on the arc, this is represented or correspond, it corresponds to the circles on the perimetry chart. And there are nine circles, each represents 10 degrees. So you have from 0 to 90. And the scale at the back of the arc, which is divided at 15 degrees intervals, it is represented or it corresponds to the meridians, we call them as meridians, or the vertical lines which are present in the perimetry chart. There is also in the perimetry, there is a chin rest so that the subject's chin can rest on it and in the middle, you can see fixation mirror. So when the subject rests the chin, on the chin rest, the eyes the eye which is to be examined has to be fixed on the mirror. So this chart is for the right eye and this one is for the left eye. This is the right eye chart. Now on this side is the temporal side and on this side is the nasal side. This is the left eye. On this side is the nasal side and on this side is the temporal side. So we'll start the practical first with the three important steps you are familiar with, which has to be done with every examination. You have to introduce yourself to the subject, you have to take consent, and you have to explain the procedure to the subject. Assalamu alaikum mm -hmm. Hum aapka perimetry wala examination karna, aapka aankho ki visual ki examine karna. So agar aap permission de sakta hai. Thank you very much. इसमें ये है कि आप अपना सर है ना वो चेन रेस्ट के ऊपर रखेंगे ठीक है और अपना आंखों बिल्कुल सामना वाला मिरर की ऊपर फिक्स करेंगे ठीक है 
डॉक्सअप एक वो ऑब्जेक्ट वो मूव करेंगी अलॉन्ग द आर्क और आपको अगर नज़र आ रहा ऑब्जेक्ट तो आप बता देंगे कि आपको नज़र आ रही है अपना हाथ रेस कर लेंगे ठीक है और ये हम रिपीट कर लेंगी हम ये आर्क मूव करेंगी ऊपर की तरफ ऐसा ऐसा मूव करेंगी ठीक है फुल सर्कल करेंगे और सेम प्रोसीजर सेम हम कर लेंगे हम ऑब्जेक्ट मूव करेंगे और अगर आपको नज़र आ रहा तो आप बता देंगे सबसे इम्पोर्टेंट चीज़ कि आपका आंख को उसके ऊपर फिक्स होना चाहिए मिरर के ऊपर एक चीज़ है अगर पॉसिबल आप अपना ग्लासेस भी रिमूव कर लेंगे ग्लासेस आप रिमूव कर दीजिए अभी कर जी जी और अपना चेन है चेनरेस के ऊपर और ये है कि अपना आंख को बिल्कुल कंफर्टेबल होना कि आप अपना आंख को मिरर के ऊपर फोकस कर दीजिए ठीक है जी so we are going to start by examining the visual fields of the right eye of the subject we'll start by fixing the arc at the level of 0 so we are start starting with 0 and this corresponds to you can see here right eye and to this line okay so now while the subject stares at the fixation point bring the white object from the periphery to the center along the concave surface of the metallic arc and ask the subject to raise hand or say yes when he can see the object okay okay yes okay so the subject was able to see the object at 40 at degree 40 so what we are going to do is at this vertical line of 0 meridian 0 we are going to mark at 40, 40. at the isopter or at the circle of 40 now we are going to move the arc before moving the arc sorry we are going to check from the other side so abdullah sahab was able to see at which degree uh, 70 70 so now you can see down at all 180 we will mark 70 70 this was 14 and 70 Now we are going to move the arc for 15 degrees. 15 degrees. Now we are going to bring the object from the periphery to the to the center. And Abdullah Sab knows that he has to say it when he sees it. Yes, you have to. So you can see that it was seen 40. at 40. So you see the vertical line of 15, and you mark the circle at the level of 40. You will do this in the opposite direction. Another one. Yes. So he was able to see it. the object at degree 75 75 so you are going to mark 75 at the vertical line that corresponds 165. to the arc 75 yes ji yes. bilkul okay now you are going to move the arc for another 15 to 30. 30 so on one side you can see it is 30 on the other side just opposite 30 150 almost 150 135 135 okay so here it is 30 so you are going to do the same step yes you have been wrong yes 
So Abdullah Saab was able to see it at degree of 40. So you will mark 40. You will find out which circle is 40. So this is the circle 40. At 30. Yes. At, you can see the angle of the arc is 30, so you are marking it at 30. Good. Okay. Now you check on the other side. Another way around. Okay. Yes. He was able to see it at the grade 80, degree 80. So we'll see on the other side which circle represents 80. 80. You will rotate the arc for another 15 degrees to go for 45. You will repeat the same steps. So, so he was able to 45. at 45 almost. He was able to see it, the, see the object at degrees 45. Okay. You can see that the vertical line is of 45 and also the circle is of 45. 45 meaning between 40 and 50. 50. Now we will do it on the other side. The other side is seen at degree 80. Again, you will rotate the arc for another 15 degrees. So now we are at that, yes, at the meridian 60. So remember, we are working at the meridian 60. So you can see it is 55. It is seen at degree 55. So at the meridian 60, you can see this is the meridian 60. Yes, and the circle is 55, between 50 and 60. Now we'll do it on the other side. Okay. Mm. Right. Mm. So he was able to see it at degree 80. 80. So on the opposite side, we'll mark 80. We will move the arc for another 15 degrees. Now we are going to 75. 75. And we will repeat the same steps. So it is seen at 60. So we will mark 60 at the meridian of 75. So the circle is 60 and the meridian is 75. We will do the same on the opposite side. And it is seen at degree? 85. 85. So on the other side we will mark at circle or isoctal 85. 85. 85 meaning between 80 and 90. We will move the arc another 15 degrees to 90. 90. It is seen at 55, almost 55. So the circle 55 will be marked along the line or the vertical, the uh, meridian 90. 65. Oh, 55? 55, sorry. 55, yes. 
यहाँ पे मतलब एटी फाइव एटी फाइव सो ऑन द अदर हाफ वी मार्क एज ऑन द सर्कल एटी फाइव मीनिंग बिटवीन एटी एंड नाइन्टी वी आर गोइंग टू मूव द आर्क एंड अदर फिफ्टीन डिग्रीज टू वन जीरो फाइव एंड रिपीट द सेम स्टेप्स So he is able to see it at between forty-five and fifty. Let's say forty-five. Forty-five. So the circle forty-five, and the meridian is one zero five. Forty-five between forty and fifty. We do the same for the other half of the visual field. It is seen at eighty. So we'll take the circle eighty. We'll mark at the circle eighty. Which is the left hand? Which is the left hand? We'll rotate the arc another fifteen degrees to one twenty. And we will repeat the same steps. So he is able to see it at almost forty-five between forty and forty-five. Let's say forty-five. So we will mark the circle forty-five. Now we'll do the same on the other side. Yeah, but seventy-five. He's able to see it at seventy-five. Seventy-five. Okay. So we'll mark seventy-five. The circle seventy-five, meaning between seventy and eighty. We'll move the arc another fifteen degrees. So you can see now we are at one thirty-five. Just for confirmation. So now one thirty-five. So you are going for the one thirty-five mm -hmm. line. Yes, you are working on this line yes. on both sides. So now we are going to repeat the same steps. So he is able to see it at fifty, at fifty. So we'll mark the circle fifty. And the vertical line is one thirty-five. Vertical line is one thirty-five, and the circle uh, is fifty. Fifty, thirty, thirty, fifty. Now we are going to do the same for the other side. Seventy-five. We are going to mark the circle. Seventy-five. Seventy. Between seventy and eighty. We are going to move the arc for another fifteen degrees. You can see we are moving it now to one fifty. One fifty. One fifty. Will be the same steps. So he is able to see it at forty, almost or forty. So we'll mark the circle forty, and you can see the meridian is one fifty. We do the same on the other side.
45. He's able to see it at angle 45. So we'll mark the circle 45, which is between 40 and 50. We are going to move the arc for another 15 degrees and we are now putting it at the level of 165. Yes. 165. We will repeat the same steps. Yes. Yeah. He is yeah. able to see it at the level of... Sixty. He's able to see it at the level of sixty, and will mark circle sixty along the meridian one sixty-five. So you can see that the meridian was one sixty-five, yeah. and the circle was sixty. 60. We'll do the same on the other side. He is able to see it at 35. So we'll mark the circle 35 on the opposite side. Now we're going to move the arc for another 15 degrees. And that is the last 15 degrees. So we are going to we have done it already? Yes. We, it is already done. So we have completed the performance of the right eye. So we are going to join the points to plot the field of vision. We we'll start from S. Yes, zero. From zero. To 15, then 30, 45, 60, 75, 90, 105, 120, 135 Zero. So this is our plotted visual field of the right eye of our subject. You can compare it with the already plotted visual field. This is the normal. The one in black is the already present on the chart and it is the normal. So you, can, you have to be within the normal. You can compare it. So we are almost within the normal. We are going to repeat the same procedure with the different colors, yellow, blue, green, and red, for the same eye, the right eye. And then we are going to repeat the same steps using the white object for the left eye, and then the colored object also for the left eye. object move karengi along the arc, theke. एक पॉइंट आ जाएंगे कि आपको नजर नहीं आता एकदम डिसअपीयर होती है तो आप हम लोग की बता देंगे कौन से पॉइंट में नहीं नजर आ रहा ठीक है हम स्टार्ट कर लेंगे यू विल मूव द ऑब्जेक्ट अलोंग द कॉनकेव आर्क टिल अ पॉइंट कम्स व्हेन द सब्जेक्ट कैन नॉट सी द ऑब्जेक्ट so he cannot see 15. the object at 15. 15. So we are going to mark it at the circle 15, which is between 10 and 20 here. This is what we call as, either ham apna marker dingi. This is what we call as the blind spot. The blind spot is the spot at which 
the person cannot see the object. Suddenly it disappears. And the reason for it is the absence of photoreceptors at that point in the retina. After you check the left eye for visual fields, you will also have to check the blind spot for the left eye as you checked for the right eye. At the end of your practical, you have to thank your subject. Abdullah Saab, thank you so much. Jazakallah. Bawad meherbani.